Hey, this is Steve Wellen from Samori. Um, I thought this was a very important and timely topic and we want to get this out as fast as possible. Uh, if you guys know me, I've been telling you for a long time it takes a Mac to do a Mac and you should use a Mac to do a Mac. Well, guess what? You don't have a choice anymore. Um, it's really, really important that you understand what's happening with the changes with the release of High Sierra. Uh, we've been beta testing it. I've got it right here in this disc. Um, High Sierra is going to introduce the first file system from Apple in over 30 years. And when that happens, nothing's going to work anymore. Not the way that you know it is supposed to work. So a Mac has to be the in, in equation. So if you be going to any of my training, any of my lectures, a Mac has to be involved in the process now. So if you have supervisors or you work for a company and you've been saying you need a Mac, you need to go to them and go, I need my Mac now. Because come September 25th of 2017, in case you're watching this in the future, um, they're going to release um, APFS with High Sierra. Uh, Fusion drives aren't going to be affected. They're going to be HFS still. But everything else that's a single disk is going to be upgraded to APFS. When that happens, as far as I know and, and from all the research I've done so far, no Windows forensics tools that I know of are going to support APFS. Now, I could be wrong, but from every day I talk to, I just spent a little a weekend with some other uh, great companies. Uh, teaching in Europe, um, and none of them say they support it at this time. So that means none of your Windows Forensics tools are going to be able to load a forensic image of a Mac unless, and I hate to say this to you because you know I like to give away things away for free with Palette and such, unless you use a Mac-based imager. So our Recon Imager automatically and already supports APFS, so you can make images of APFS um, with Recon Imager. Um, that image, if you bring it into a Mac, is going to be fine. So bringing a physical image of APFS to a Mac will be fine. The problem is if you try to bake a physical image of APFS into a Windows machine, it's no-go. It's not going to happen. A Mac has to be involved. Now what we've done with Recon Imager, the version that's coming out soon, is you'll be able to make a logical acquisition of of APFS that can be inputted into Windows Forensics tools. This is the only way, this is the only way that I know of right now that you're gonna be able to do and continue to do Mac Forensics with Windows based tools. Now, if you know me, I'm like, mm, not the best way. Um, obviously, but we know most of the world is still using Windows Forensics tools, so I, I don't wanna exclude you guys. And we're all about us making sure that you can do the job. You know, I'm law enforcement, I was law enforcement, retired. Everybody here is a lot of most people here retired law enforcement. We want to continue supporting law enforcement. And I'm really concerned that when APFS drops, that law enforcement's not going to be able to do their jobs because this is what's going to be the key to doing it. You're going to need a Mac based imager. Okay, so then the next question comes up, and I'm speaking mostly for law enforcement red tape, putting in the paperwork, and, and actually, you know, getting the time or money to actually buy this. Like, 400 bucks, it's not as expensive as other tools. Let me just say this, I want to make this very clear, and I'll do the best that I can, all right? I don't want money to stand in the way of you doing your job. I, I mean, you're out to protect us, and that's the most important thing. I've done it, we've done it. That, that's what's important. So, I want to say it again, if you don't have the budget or time's an issue or it takes too long to push the papers and there's a need for you to have this in your hands, all you got to do is ask. We'll worry about the paperwork, the money later. Don't worry about it. I want you to contact us um, and our staff, everybody here in the Samori team will get it to you somehow, some way. So um, even if I have to just make it up and buy drives at any local store. But we will get it out to you in some way or some form. But please don't let this be an issue and please keep an eye on what's going to happen. We're going to be out at the Northwest ICAT at Microsoft campus um, in a short period of time here. So I'm being told that we're going to be doing a live stream. We're going to attempt to do a live stream. Haven't done one before, but we're going to do it. Um, on YouTube, on a similar YouTube channel. It's going to be Wednesday, September 27th, 10.30 Pacific time. Okay, and 1.30 Eastern time. So make sure that you pay attention to our emails that are going to come if you're on our, on our list and stuff. We'll send an email with the link um, so that you can actually see it. I'm going to be talking about Mac imaging there, demonstrating it, and core storage and fusion. That's old news. <laughs> it's, it's, it's old news because when everybody upgrades to APFS, it's going to be different. So it's going to be probably one of the most important events that you can actually uh, watch when it comes to Mac forensics um, in, in today's world. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact our team and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.